how to add activities with the activity planning interface. You need to set up the years, groups and subgroups before adding activities. Also the subjects must be entered before that. The teacher names should be added also. I recommend to do some additional work and add the qualified subjects also. Even if it is a bit extra work at the beginning, it will save you a lot of work and bug hunting later. Let's open the activity planning interface. There are two tables. The upper one displays all subjects from left to right and all students from up to down. First of all I want to enter subject English for class 5C. So I only need to select the cell with the correct subject and the correct class. You can see that there are currently no activities in that cell. As soon as I add new activities you will notice that the add activities dialog have got pre-selected the correct students and also the correct subjects. So this will save some work. I only need to select the correct teacher and add the activity. As you can see we added one activity by that. You can add of course more activities the same way. But this is not recommended. Let's select the add activity button on the right side. If we select a cell now, the activities dialog will be skipped. We automatically get into the add activities dialog. So we saved some more time by this. Now we do an additional trick, we select the qualified checkbox. FET will remember that we checked it. Now the teachers list is much smaller and we will see only the teachers with qualified subjects. Of course it was a bit work to add the qualified subjects, but now it will save a lot of work. You might have noticed that I done a few bugs so far and I want to delete the activities again. There are overall two variants, first of all I could select the activities button. Now I need to select the correct cell. As soon as I done that I can see all activities more detailed. I only need to select the activity that should be deleted and press the remove button. In most cases we can do it a bit quicker, select the delete activities button, and just click on the cell. You can remove all activities at once by that. Let's add some examples, subject English should have got 4 hours per week. With max 1 1 hour per day. So it could look like the left example, but not like the right example. We need to split the activity into four parts, increase the weight up to 100% and add the activity. Subject maths should have got also four hours per week. Two days with one hour and one day with two consecutive hours. We need to split the activity into three parts, increase the duration of one activity up to two and also increase the weight up to 100%. Subject. Sports should have got two consecutive hours per week. We don't need to split the activity. We only need to increase the duration up to two and add the activity. Subject geography should have got two hours per week. It doesn't matter if the activities are on the same day or not. But they should be consecutive if they are on the same day. So split the activity into two parts, reduce the weight down to 0% and check the consecutive flag. Subject politics should have got also two hours per week. This time it doesn't matter if the hours are not consecutive on the same day, but it is preferred to have them on different days. So, split the activity into two parts, keep a weight greater than 0% but less than 100% and don't select the consecutive flag. I bet you already noticed that there is also a nice overview about the teachers in the lower table. Of course you can also add and remove activities here the same way. You can also see the sum of hours per teacher. It is the total number of hours of that teacher if there is no sign before the number. Since many teachers need a different number of target hours it will be complicated to check if the current value is fine. That is why you should enter the target number of hours. You can do it also in this interface by clicking on the target hours. FET will calculate the difference between the actual number of hours and the target number of hours. Differences have got a prefix. The equality sign shows you that the actual number of hours is the same as the target number of hours. The minus sign shows you that there are too few activities. The plus sign shows you that there are too many activities. You will see more tricks about the activity planning in the next video. Happy timetabling.